kind of connections. There are several types of connections that we commonly observe from a steel structures. These include the tensile splice connections, welded end plate and beam connections, beam to column connections with end plate, and beam to column connections with web cleats. This is a typical tensile splice connections. For this type of connections, steel plates are joined together, bolt holes are created, and the plates are bolted. There will be tensile force acting on the connections, pulling the plate at the opposite directions, and the bolt acts as the interlocking mechanisms to prevent the movement of the steel plates. In the design of such connections, we need to check for the edge distance and spacings of the bolt hole, check for the shear resistance of the bolt, check for the bearing resistance of the bolt hole, and also check for the tension resistance of the plate. The strength of the connections is governed by the weakest of all this strength. These tools are typical beam to column connections. For these connections, the beam here is welded to the end plate. And this is known as the welded end plate beam connections. The end plate here is subsequently bolted to the columns. This is known as the bolted beam to column connection using end plates. As for these connections, the beam is connected to the column through a web cleat and it is known as the bolted beam to column connections using web cleats. In the design and checking of this kind of connections, we will need to check every single interface between different elements of steels. Taking this as an example, we need to check the weld between the beam and the end plate and then we need to check the bolted connections between the end plate and the column. The strength of the connections will be the weakest of the two resistance mentioned just now. While designing for these connections, the checking will be between the beam and the wet clip and the wet clip and the column. Whichever part of the connection here fail first will govern the capacity of the connections. Based on all these connections here, we come to a common understanding that the checking and the design of the column will be done parts by parts at every interface between the elements within the connections. The weakest part will govern the capacity of the connections. With that, the connections is ideally to be designed to fail about at the same time.